Hi, welcome back. This tutorial will teach you something absolutely mind-boggling and it's amazingly easier than it looks. I don't think it's ever been played on harp before and I call it filigrees. This is what it sounds like. That one was on F. If I did it on C, it would be... So you're about to learn this. Set your levers to make your harp in the key of G, because that's what we're going to do here, so that you can play this on any lap harp. So what you do is you put your right hand on a G cigarette pose. G a D. Now all you do first for filigrees is you go downward over and over. You place all three, play all three, you're off, place all three. I never even lift my hand off the soundboard so that I don't have to find it again. I don't have to look at it. So that's the right hand the whole time. The left hand is tenths, so if your right hand starts on a G, the bottom is a G, even though it starts on the top coming down. But if the bottom one is a G, then you're going to do here a G tenth. So that's an octave is eight, nine, ten. Now, uh, you can do a ten in this hand position, or you can do it in an open hand position, which usually works better lower on the harp. These are going to be rocked tenths, so instead of playing like this, you're going to play the bottom note and then the top note. So. Let's do it up here. You're going to do that. You're going to do that. Then you're just going to walk down the harp from a G tenth to an F tenth and so forth. But you're going to walk down with them rocked up. Now you'll combine left hand and right hand. The left hand on a G tenth, the right hand on a G cigarette pose, but that's going to be played down. And you'll never, you'll never move from that. That's an anchored area. First of all, play a G tenth rocked up, then the right hand, then the F tenth rocked up, Still the G cigarette pose down, then the E minor, the E, that is minor. So, so I'll give you time to do this, but I always like to start out with the very simplest, which is just doing one. So. G tenth rocked up, 
and she cigarette bows going down. So left hand, just do that. This time do a G tenth and an F tenth. This time, stay on that G cigarette pose coming down and do a G, an F, and an E. I'm not going to say the words minor. I just want you to focus on the letter. Now do four, G, F, E, and D. do it that fast. Now do it on five. Now do the whole scale down. If you do it slowly, that's fine. That's when you're learning. Let's see. And so forth. Or if you're already doing it faster, now if you're on a floor harp, let's do it in the key of C. So that's a C cigarette pose. Or you could do it up here. You could do it on the lap part. But I'm going to do it right down here. So you're going to do a C downward cigarette pose and a C tenth rocking up. So I'm down farther on the harp and I'm going to do open tenths. So I'm down farther on the harp and I'm going to do open tenths. Try that. Now try it a little bit faster. If you do it on a laptop, you're going to do it here, but probably use that more classical position for um, for your tenth instead of an open-handed. Just play around with those. They're a lot easier than they look, and you can start slow and then be proud that you're doing a technique that's never been done on harp before.